So instead of saying, I am broke, I am scared, I am lost, what if we started using I am and the words that follow it to build what we want to have in the future, to build what we desire, to build what we strive for, to build what the person, the version of ourselves that we want to be. The way we break down your life, we have five pyramids of human performance. So you'd have an I am statement for each of the five. So you'd have a physical, intellectual, wealth, relationship, and spiritual. Sorry, spiritual is one. And you have an I am statement that's in each of those. And, and I mentioned the ones that, that we're born with, the unbreakable, infinite, abundant, connected one. Um, but you have a specific one for you. Like for me, um, my physical one is um, unbreakable, kind of overarching. But mine right now is I am an ultra runner. And so right now my mission goal is that 24-hour race in September. And again, that goal that you have, which is the second step of after you figure out the I am statement, then you have to have the mission goal, which is way bigger than what you currently are. That's my goal. That's clearly based on me saying I'm an ultra runner. And so then what are the things that I have to do in order to be what I'm saying I am? And then the next step from there is what is the team I need around me? So who are the people? And, and we recommend you have six people, which seems like a ton. But when you think about it, when you break it down, it's not actually as much as, as it seems like. Because if you look at a team for I'm an ultra runner, well, one person on my team is my chiropractor. Another is a massage therapist. Another one is a nutritionist. And one, another one's an actual running coach. Another one's just an accountability person that's making sure I'm doing the things I'm supposed to do. So that's five right there. Um, another one could be an app that you use, you know, for logging all your running, but you have to figure out what is the team that I need in place in order to accomplish that goal. And you have to actually partner with them. Like you have to express to them, like, Hey, I need you to hold me accountable to this, this, and this. Um, when we break down those 16 players, there's three people that are doing things for you to accomplish that goal. And then three people that are holding you accountable to certain things in order to accomplish that goal. And then you have the actual action plan. And then at the very end, you have why, like why is it important for me to be an ultra runner? Because of what I'm gonna learn about myself in that 20th hour when I feel like I can't take another step and I run five more miles. And that, that for me, the mental strength in there. If you think about the words, I am, it's such a powerful, powerful declaration of who you are. I am. I am powerful. I am strong. I am courageous. I am fearless. I am capable. You think of those statements and how much power is behind that in those type of affirmations. But the reality is, if you really took a look at your life and if you really took a look at the things that you say on a daily basis, how many times are you using those words, I am? and not using what comes after those two words to build you up, but rather using the words after I am to break you down. The words after I am to speak negatively towards yourself, which reaffirms the negative that's already in your head, which reaffirms the negativity that is coming out of you on a daily basis, which reaffirms those fears that you have, which reaffirms those feelings of lack that you have. And it's a continual cycle. And so the way I want us to reframe today is to look at how we can use this phrase I am to build us up and not use it to break us down. So uh, as a challenge to the people that are listening to this, you know, that, that phrase I am blank and there's multiple is the most important thing that you can really get a grasp of and everything else will follow after that. So once you realize like I am a creator, I am unbreakable, I am a leader, I am whatever that is for that person. Then let's take a basic example. I'm a runner. Well, then on the do, I, I run, I train. And for it to be so dialed in and it's easy for athletes and for artists, like if I'm a painter, of course I paint. If I'm a runner, I run. 
but to create that similar dynamic when you ask a runner like you know why are you why are you doing all these crazy miles every week like why do you do that it's like because i'm a runner well what does that mean if your i am is i'm a leader right what are those things that you do that if someone asked you well man why did you spend six and a half hours till 9 45 p.m last night at your office calling all of your agents because i'm a leader that's what leaders do and then from there on to the people that you associate with then your action plan and then the why but the why ties back to where it all starts with who you are and so i think that's a big shift because the influential people live in the be and the do influencers live in the action plan and the why and it is a drastic difference in the impact that's made when you unpack those things really where i have taken that um in my own life is less of less of what do I want, but more of who do I want to be. And so if I think of who I am now and then ultimately who I want to be and start formulating this idea of being that, which I want to be and acting and executing on things as though I am that person. Um, it just, for me, it took it to a whole nother level. Cause I was stuck in that space for a, a number of years. Um, even during, you know, crazy successful times of not really understanding like what I wanted. Like I wanted to make more money, but great. What for? And what I want to do with it? And what does that look like for me? But then really switching gears and starting to think about, well, instead of like, what do I want? Because that seems to be a very difficult question to answer. Who do I actually want to be? Um, and to me, it's just it's it's a it's a simple mindset switch, but it's extremely impactful when you start thinking about the type of, like if I could be any type of person, if I could feel any type of thing, if I could experience things, like what, what would those things be? Um, and they're not necessarily the things that I want, but the, you know, they're the things that you want to experience or things that you want to have in your life. But what are those things that you would have to do to become that person? Um, and to me, that's just a whole different level of, of conversation that most people aren't having the whole goal in life is to be able to say no to bigger and better things. <laughs> you know, like when you get to the point where you're turning down stuff that years ago you would have died to do, like that's where you want to be. Um, and it's, and it's not the easiest process. Like it's been like some of them, you know, when you have relationships involved and you know, things that you are being asked to do that you feel like, I mean, I should probably support this guy and, and do this with him. But when you run it through that filter of, for me, I'm all in like, can't do it like there's only so much time in the day and just like you said you got a hundred different things going on what if you're just legendary at a couple of things that's all you need really just need to be legendary at one thing you can be insanely successful um but yes i mean that's what that process looks like for us um it just starts with the i am statement and then figuring out a huge mission goal attached to that i am statement um but for me it's it's been just a very transformative process um, because now that's who I see myself as, as those five I am statements. And I can look at every single thing I'm doing at every single second of the day. And if it doesn't align with one of those I am statements, then it's probably not something I should be doing or spending my time on or investing in.